Welcome everyone to this video. Today we are testing ESET antivirus and I do have a folder with a bunch of samples of malware. We have 460 samples in total and we will be using these specific samples to see how well ESET does or does not do as far as protecting us against these specific kinds of threats. The procedure will be as follows. In a moment, I will enable the real-time protection here in ESET. We will give it a few minutes to see if it can detect anything on its own, after which we will run a system scan. If there's any samples remaining after that, we will execute them and see if the real-time protection can stop them. Before anything, let's check for updates. And we are up to date. And at this point, we're going to go ahead and enable the real-time protection. And please be aware we are using the default settings for the protection. And so I'm not going to touch these as of right now. We'll see how it does with just the default settings. And we'll let this sit for just a few minutes. Alrighty, several minutes have passed. Let's double check our samples folder. I haven't noticed anything pop up and it looks like 460 is still in here. So at this point, let's go ahead and initiate a computer scan. And we're going to let this run until it's fully completed. The scan has completed and it did remove a bunch of results here. At one point it did pop up asking me to pick an action. Let's go ahead and check our samples folder. We're down to 14. And so let's go ahead and scan the samples folder directly. And it looks like nothing additional was detected. So let's go ahead and execute the remaining. The remaining samples were executed, but we are still at 14. And let's try setting the malware detection to aggressive. Also, we're going to enable advanced signatures as well. And we're going to scan again. And those setting changes did result in another detection. And it looks like we are down to 13. And let's go ahead and just set all of these to aggressive. We'll see what happens here. We'll go ahead and scan just one last time. And that second scan also removed some results. We are now down to 10. At this point, we're going to restart the computer and run some second opinion scans. After restart, I ran a scan with malware bytes. It came back with 12 positive detections. So we'll go ahead and quarantine. I also ran a scan with MZSoft, which came back clean, no results detected. Please be aware after all of that, there were still three samples remaining. And so I uploaded them to VirusTotal and this is the result for the first one second, and third. Please keep in mind that this is just one type of test. ESET very well may perform differently in other types of tests. Also, please note that yes, we did have to turn up the settings in order to detect some of those samples. There is some risk with doing that. The more aggressive you set those settings, the more likely you are to get false positives. Regardless, you can take these results and draw your own conclusion, but that's everything for this video. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider sharing it. And if you would like to support the channel, go ahead and hit that join button, the subscribe button, the thanks button, or that bell notification icon to get notifications on future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you have a great day.